What's up? Just Prince TV here, man. Yo, now, in life, we face a lot of um, challenges, right? But one of the challenges we shouldn't face is getting an apartment, right? You got a job, you're making money, you want a place of your own, you probably want a place of your own by yourself, or you just want to get a bigger place for you and your family, uh, you want to move into a better neighborhood, whatever the case may be, all right? But there's always situations, always things blocking you from doing it. But I'm going to try to give out some tips based off my experience when it comes to uh, apartment hunting. Okay. Um, one of the things that landlords look for is credit. Okay. Um, good credit, bad credit. Um, bad credit is a killer in a lot of sport, a lot of sports, a lot of things. Okay. Um, Look at it this one. You want to get a car loan or you want to get a bank loan. Uh, you want to get an apartment. They always go by credit checks for a lot of things. You want to get a credit card. It goes by credit checks. This country in America relies on credit a lot. So you don't realize how important credit is until you actually get older. Because when you're younger, you could care less about credit. You know, it's like, what the hell am I going to do with that? You know, but you come to find out it actually has a lot of meaning to it. it actually you know, is uh, a very valuable thing. But let's say you have bad credit. You know, my credit is not the best. I'm working on right now to try to boost my credit up. Well, the first thing you could possibly do is try to work out plans to boost your credit up. Pay what you owe. You know, work out a payment plan, a monthly payment plan. Instead of paying um, your monthly price for all your streaming networks, instead of paying for Netflix, Hulu, or... Um, Disney Plus, take a break from that and go and fix your credit, you know? A lot of us have the power to go and fix some of the stuff that we have, you know, but we tend to look at stuff for entertainment, you know? Um, instead of buying video games, go and fix your credit, you know? And um, that's a situation you could do, you know? So that's a little responsibility we could take onus on ourselves. Me, myself, I should, I have to tell myself that same thing too. You know, and because you're never going to know when you need your credit. All right. But let's say you need an apartment ASAP. You can You don't get time to fix your credit and go about doing what you got to do. You know, um, there's a little bit of ways around it. You know, um, you could be honest up front with your landlord. Be like, hey, man, I got bad credit, but there's ways we could probably work over this. You could sit there and say, I could pay an extra month worth of rent in advance, you know. Or you could show them bank statements, you know, or things like that. Number one thing that landlords are into, they want to know if you have enough money to afford this place that they're renting out to you. They don't want to rent a place to a slouch. They don't want to have to deal with calling um, evictions or the sheriff to come and kick you out of an apartment. That's money out of their pocket. And it's a bunch of headaches. They want a good client, a good tenant that could pay the rent on time. Okay? So... If you have money saved in your bank account, that's the big thing you could do. Show them your bank statement. You say, hey, even if I'm not working, I don't have a job. Because some people could get apartments without a job. So you could say, hey, if I don't have a job, man, I got enough money to pay a year's worth of rent without even working. I mean, in the meanwhile, I'll be looking for work, you know. So they at least know they could keep you for a year. And after that, your lease is up. Then you go from month to month, okay. Because your lease year is your most important year when you're renting. Okay, once you go month to month, things are a little more simple, a little more calm, you know. Um, another thing, have a, number two is have a good relationship with your landlord. Try to have a good relationship with your landlord. Make sure your rent is paid on time. Um, try to establish some relationship with your landlord. Even if your landlord is a little bit, you know, on the crazy side, you know, try your best. If you can't work out a situation with your landlord, but you did pay your rent, you didn't get evicted or nothing, you got to go hood with it. You're going to have to get somebody else to pretend to be a landlord and, you know, take the call for you, you know, because at the end of the day, it's just a reference, okay? These people, they call around looking for reference. They want to know your clout. They want to know what you're about. They want to know what other people think about you. So you want to make sure you have people around you that can give you a good word. Keep people in your circle that can only help you and be positive in your life. This is why you don't need haters in your life. You don't need somebody that's going to be negative because all they're going to do is bring you down. You need somebody 
that's going to vouch for you and be there for you like a true friend. Okay? Like, I have a certain group of people that if I need a reference, I go to them, you know? And vice versa. If they need a reference for me, boom, let me know when and where they're going to call and I handle that. Okay? Um, number three, if you don't have a job, okay, and you don't make enough money uh, to pay the rent, then this is a big bummer because most landlords, they want rent that's three times as much as what you make, right? And, and realistically, a lot of people, common nine to five people, some of them, if they're single and they're by themselves, they don't make three times the rent. Let's say you're trying to get an apartment, even with your wife, for $2,000 a month, right? That means you got to make over six G's a month, okay? You can combine it together, make six G's a month, but guess what? You and your wife are going to have to be working like two jobs each, Okay? Just to hit that number, your wife will have to be making three thousand a month. You have to make three thousand a month, okay? Just to just to even get that, you know, because they always want to make sure that you have enough of that, and that's kind of ludicrous. And if you have two people, you gotta put the human element in there. You got two people in there, you can always assume that they're gonna be splitting the bill and they're gonna be paying that, you know? Because a lot of people say, "Hey, man, I could do a thousand dollars a month by myself. That's good. That's the type of rent that I want to get." A type of rent I want to afford, you know, but some people can't do that, man, you know, and they need to come up with a rule that you don't have to do that, you know, you could change stuff around a little bit, but most landlords could work around that, okay, because it's just a rule, remember, it's up to the landlord to rent the place out to you, you're pretty much like a salesman, you go and approach that um, landlord, you got to approach that landlord with respect, and you got to approach them like they're a client, like you're, like you, like you, um, you own a store or something. You're selling something to them. In this case, you're selling yourself to them. You're selling them your personality, and you're selling them the fact that hey, I could, you know, I could vouch for this. I could do what's need to be done to pay this rent. Because at the end of the day, all they want to know is, do you have the money to pay the rent? Okay, and the key dagger for this is probably saving money. If you could do that and being straight up honest with your landlord, tell them your situation and the human element would kick in. They'd probably be like, okay, I could work with you, you know? So it's going to be a hassle sometimes, but if you keep trying, you would get what you want. You're going to have to keep tearing some doors down to get what you want. But eventually if you keep trying, you know, you will land what you need. You know, um, I do know one day. If you work hard for something and you go after it, you may not get exactly what you want, but you will get something equal to it or probably something better. But it all starts with hard work and determination because if you can't, if you don't have that, then you really don't have nothing because nobody's going to take you serious if you can't take yourself serious. You're going to have to go out there and pound the pavement. You got to put your work in. And that's all I got to say about that. Just Prince TV out. Peace.